One of the most obnoxious, stereotypical things I've heard as it pertains to a man seeking romances is the saying, she's out of your league. From the time I was a freshman in high school, I can remember a specific instance where there was a female classmate I had feelings for due to her appearance. When I mentioned this to one of my colleagues, he said that I did not have a chance with her. But he didn't say this because she was some A student or had some other pinnacle of success determined by her character or skills. He was specifically referring to his contrasting of her physical appearance with mine and him finding her to look better than myself. I have an issue with this because as a straight man, he's supposed to find women attractive, not men. Let me be fair and say that I can admit where I've thought certain men were hideous, but there has never been a circumstance where I've told another man that a woman was out of their league by virtue of appearance. And the reason for this is because ultimately the person who determines if you're in her league or not is the woman. Oftentimes in the romance videos I've made, especially the more recent ones, I've mentioned that many women in modern society seem to be able to use their appearance to get away with doing very little of substance, whether that's owning anything, having a job, actually treating the people around them well, etc. This has never been more the case than with this stupid saying, because I've seen multiple examples where men who own more have higher paying positions and anything else you could think of as being superior are still told by other men they do not meet the standards of the women they are pursuing. I could own a Lamborghini, live in a mansion, be a company CEO, and I would still be told that some random woman is out of my league just because the man thinks her face is pretty. This woman could live in a one-room shack, a hut, in a box on a street, and own no vehicle or have a dollar in her pocket. But just because the man thinks she looks nice, she's out of my league. I'm a fair arbiter, so let's flip this scenario. Let's say I was homeless, did not have a job, car, pretty much any material thing. And there's a woman who's trying to get with me that is a CEO, has a nice car, lives in a large home. Even if I didn't think the woman was attractive for either her appearance or something else that was keeping me from wanting to be in a relationship, I would concede that she was out of my league by virtue of what she had acquired as opposed to her appearance. Her appearance would not disqualify me because in this scenario, she's either attracted to or not opposed to my appearance enough to where it stops her from trying to get with me. As I said earlier, the person who determines if you're in her league or not is the woman. But let's discuss the other ways this line has affected me. There have been numerous comments over the years from the relationship aficionados where they speculate on the reasons for my lack of success with women. From my appearance to what I own, everything has been the subject of gossip to such an extent that I've sometimes questioned if I'm looking at my own comment section or a copy of the National Enquirer. One of the lines I've seen written a few times is something to the effect of, maybe you're approaching women who are above your league. There was even a dumb broad who said I should approach women from my category. I have made it my policy to never show a single woman's picture on this channel for multiple reasons. One of them is that the purpose of detailing my experiences is to call attention to the story versus the people involved. Another is that I don't want to make people who are not public figures have appearances in my uploads. But the real issue I draw with these comments is that they have a tendency to ignore what I would consider practical assumptions. Let's pretend that one day I find a, a way to recall all of the some 70 to 90 women I've approached and provide every single woman's picture throughout some video. I am 100% convinced that there would be no man who would find every single one of those women attractive. And that would be perfectly fine because there are plenty of women that I don't like the appearance of, but that I understand other men would still approach. I just wish that if we can agree that some of the women I approach, you may not have personally found attractive, 
We can also agree that there's a portion of the women I approach who are not out of my league because they're so beautiful and I, this deformed, lanky Cretan, could never dare to glimpse a reality where I, with such a wicked appearance, would be successful with one of them. But this is my point. Assuming that every woman I approached was whatever you define as an eight, nine, or ten, while believing that I spoke to several dozens of them, is not a practical assumption. The number is too large to reasonably think all of them looked so much greater than yours truly. And it's amusing to consider that I can get called sexist for not talking to women anymore because the ones I personally interacted with were not pleasant, to say the least. But someone who assumes every single one I approach looks so beautiful isn't sexist. So I'm sexist for recognizing a proven pattern of women I spoke to saying no repeatedly, regardless of how long I spoke to them, what country they were from, what lies they told me about how much they liked my personality or found me entertaining. But it's not sexist to say every single one of them was out of my league. All right. <laughs> this phrase really seems to only exist to tear down a man's confidence as it pertains to their romantic prospects. I find it comical that you'll see people assume a man doesn't have confidence because he doesn't talk to women. But from each example that's been illustrated here, the only time this phrase comes out for usage is for a man to tear down another man's confidence. The same group of people trying to convince non-relationship seeking men that they are unconfident are the same ones who would try to contribute to lowering their confidence if they were still approaching women. I recall reading many toxic messages in my comment section, and one of them was this assertion that I could only be good enough for the modern woman via having some unspecified amount of money, looking a certain way, or having some personality that I did not possess. The problem with these comments is that I don't believe in an insta fix for this problem. I don't believe that if I just had a different hairstyle, magically most of the women I encountered would have an orgasm. I know for a fact that a different personality doesn't matter because this issue started when I was in middle school and a practical assumption for a viewer of this video to make would be that I act different as an adult than I did when I was in junior high. I know for a fact that the one thing you definitely do not need to get with a woman is money, especially after seeing that poor man get with an even poorer woman with regard to the dingbat with the baby. When I see a man get with a woman and both of them are poor, then I know wealth by itself does not stop someone from being unable to find a partner, despite what some of the scum may tell you. All in all, she's out of your league. It's just a stupid phrase men say to other men in an attempt to make them feel bad about themselves. The only persons whose opinions matter on whether you're worthy enough for a woman are the two people that could form the potential relationship. This phrase was a factor in why I no longer discuss my romantic prospects with my contemporaries because I would just read my own comment section if I wanted to have someone try to get me to feel bad about myself. To the phrase's credit, it also shows just how much of a pedestal someone can acquire simply by having a vagina. As you often see women considered superior to the men interested in them solely due to their looks, as opposed to anything they've actually accomplished or done with their lives. People can write what they wish, but I have never once approached a woman who I genuinely believed was my superior. And that's not because I don't think there are women who are higher ranking than me in some way. Just that I know someone isn't automatically better than me because another person says they look nicer.